That's pretty good light. All right, giving away a flight controller today. This is the, eh, there's one of my wife's hairs on my quad. This is the Astro X X5 that I smashed into the petrified pine tree and ripped this mo no, this motor. Ripped this motor off. Can't hear it, I don't know, you probably can't hear it. It sounds a little, eh, it sounds a little janky. But I've already flown it and it still flies good, so I'm gonna run that motor until it dies. But I changed the flight controller to the Matek F411 Mini. Uh, I never, I could never get that Pro Corner to fly the way I wanted it to fly. It always sounded a little weird. It always sounded nervous. So we're gonna try it on this Mini. And Maytech gave me two of these for being helpful on their Facebook page, which was pretty uh, unexpected. Uh, I was just trying to help people with the Twitch problem with the uh, F405. And uh, since they gave them to me for free, I decided I'm going to give the other one to somebody else. So like and subscribe and comment below and I'll just do a comment picker thing once I figure out how to do that. Anyway, here's some flight footage from this little mini flight controller. I have, they only have two UARTs. I think you can um, set up some soft serial ports, but two UARTs is all I need because I don't run any, I don't even have smart audio on this kind of TX001 on here. It doesn't do any of that. I don't need any of that shit. Anyway, here's some flight footage. Cut that out. Here's some flight footage. Mother. Here is some flight footage from this flight controller on the Astro X running 6S. Run 6S through it. Why not? It says it can do it. Can't believe nothing broke on this except for the uh, the arm broke right at the motor. Uh, it was such a brutal crash. Oh, I'll, I'll link to that crash. Put that crash in here in case you didn't see it. All right, this is rambling on. Here is the Matek F411 Mini in flight.